Welcome to Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're diving into the top 10 Fire TV apps for July 2018. Now these are my favorite Fire TV apps. I picked ones I think deserve some special attention. Ones I think for some people they may not realize or maybe are taking full advantage of. I'd love to know your opinion. What do you think of this list? What do you, would you add to this list? Leave me a comment, let me know. Let's try and keep it to the official Fire TV app store. and. Let's help everybody find some great Fire TV apps there to take advantage of. But let's dive into the list. Right off the bat is TED. Um, there's a couple different apps out there, TED TV. Um, the TED one, I believe, is the official app here. And this gives you access to a ton of content. Uh, they do these great talks around the nation that they put online for free, which is really great. From everything from a comedy routine to um, the latest in quantum physics, and space exploration, and education, and cultural events. There's really a ton of different content here. Let's jump into the topics. You get stuff on personal growth, businesses, technology, design. There's really everything here. And there's even a lot of fun ones about art. Um, and comedy is included in here too. If you dig around somewhere in there, you'll find a category of different interesting of um, talks. I really love this. Sometimes I'm just in the mood to find something interesting to watch, something educational, don't want to pay a lot of money. Hey, this is a great one. Another 100% free app out there to take advantage of. The next one up is another great free one, Pluto TV. Whenever I do these polls and I say, hey, what's one of the best free apps out there for whatever device. Pluto TV tends to be one of the most popular on this list. And it not only gives you a ton of linear channels that are 100% free, um, you also get on-demand content, but includes movie channels, um, news channels, including CBS News 24-7 Live, it includes on-demand repeats, basically, of MSNBC, CNBC. Now, they're not live. They're just the back catalog of content there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you keep on going on down. They got a little bit of Sky News, Bloomberg, tons of sports, Fox Sports, some fighting, um, poker, boxing. A lot of com um, comedy content here, stand-up, different comedy routines, gaming content if you're into that. They have... Oh, everything, entertainment, they have kids cartoon networks, documentaries, kids TV. So there's a little bit of everything. There's tons and tons of channels to check out. But they also now have free movies and TV shows included. So you can go in here and check out their catalog of free movies. They are, they're ad supported, but they're available on demand. And you can really pick when you want to watch them. The Ides of March, these are some big name movies and some older ones, Hollow Man. A little bit of everything included in here. And they do have TV shows, um, Hearts War, Toy Soldiers. I don't think that last time I heard that. The Tom Clancy's Clear and Present Danger. A really great collection. Again, one of the great things about these free apps, you may be saying, you know, eh, I, I'm a little indifferent about it, is sometimes it's just nice to have content running. If I'm doing my taxes, I'm uh, working around the house, you want something running, and you don't feel like, oh, you know, I want to watch. Uh, a movie, but I don't really want to pay for one. This is a great one to do it with. Let's keep on going. Speak of 100% free, one of the services I think doesn't get the attention it deserves. There's a couple like this, but Hoopla is one of them. It used to be called Hoopla Digital. Um, apparently, somehow I've become signed out, but we'll keep going. But Hoopla Digital partners with your local library and it allows you to access a ton of content. Disney, Nickelodeon, movies, TV shows, audiobooks, eBooks, depends where you live, if your library participates. There's a couple other services like Hoopla. Hoopla is one of the few though, has a Fire TV app, which is really great, and it allows you the ability to, with your library card that you're paying for with your taxes, go not only borrow books from the library or rent a, um, a DVD, a CD there, but digitally stream movies and TV shows. They also recently came to the Amazon Alexa, so you can, through your Echo device, listen to audiobooks and music that you've borrowed. So, uh, there's limitations. Usually, there's a set number of rentals you can do per month, and I really like it. There's a lot of Disney content on here that's not available in other places, a lot of Nickelodeon content. My daughter really likes it. I love the audiobooks and music. Hoopla Digital, it's part of your library. If you're not taking advantage of your local library with your core cutting experience, you're really missing out. There's a great 
a whole line of content out there you really should be checking out with this. Next up in, is iHeartRadio. Now this one is kind of a category of different music services out there. Amazon Music, Sirius XM, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and more are all included here. And it's a really great one. One thing I like about it is increasingly the best sound system in people's homes are the ones connected to your TV. Whether you have surround sound, a big sound bar, you know, TVs are increasingly becoming the place to go. If you're having a party, or like I said, you're cleaning the house, you want to listen to some good music, using your Fire TV to be your music entertainment zone is really great. One thing I love about it is when I have a party is I kind of, you know, I start my Amazon Music, I start iHeart or whatever, I throw the, mute, the remote on the end table I'm like, hey, anybody want to pick a song or anything? It's right there, you can use the um, search feature, the Alexa call feature, especially with the Amazon Prime Music to find music. This is a pretty cool way. So check it out. You know, maybe you already have a great sound system, that's great. I kind of like it. I especially like it for parties, people can see the name of the song, they can see what's playing, they can kind of pick what they want to play on it. Check it out. Let's keep on moving. Right now, I live in Texas, we're right in the hurricane season getting started, and it's good to know what's happening in the world of weather. Weather Nation is probably one of the best core cutting weather services out there. 100% free, not only do you get a little launch here where you can say, I wanna see what my 36 hour weather is, I wanna see what my 30 day weather, or 10 day forecast, wherever it is, but you can also go in here, check a radar, which is fun, but you can also go watch their live TV. So they have a 24 seven live TV stream on here. They're on many cable networks. Uh, Direct TV is dropping them according to all reports. I just got the press release on it. It should be happening tomorrow from when I'm recording this. Hey, if you like the Weather Nation and you're on Direct TV, pick it up here. If you're a core cutter, even if you're not a big weather buff, but you know, weather sometimes is a big thing happening. Our hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, um, they really do a good job covering it. They have on-demand content too. Let me back up here, where you can go in here and say, I want to just take a look at the recent big stories happening. You see a little bit about the, um, the fires, tornadoes. They got a great series here where they just talk about the science part of weather. And then you can see the, the live on here, but on-demand regional, like the top stories. You can go on here, extend outlook, travel forecast here we go northeast southeast central you can go whenever you want and just get a local weather for your region which is pretty cool so weather nation 100 percent free you don't have to pay anything for it and it still streams for free on your fire tv next up is espn you're probably saying luke why are you doing espn you need cable you need a streaming service like some tv to get i really want to dive in here to the espn plus I'm kind of a big fan. I, I won't lie, I am a hardcore sports fan. I love all things sports. ESPN Plus kind of takes a collection of some of the stuff that used to be in ESPN3, unfortunately, puts it in here, so you have to pay for it now, five bucks a month. But they have a good catalog of content that wasn't on ESPN3. Every Major League Soccer event in the United States is on ESPN Plus. Um, every Canadian football game, which I love. I'm a football fan. Come summer, hey, I'll watch some Canadian football. It's kind of a fun, different take on it. But they have other stuff. They have a lot of documentaries, Enhanced, 30 for 30. Um, and you can see upcoming events. They have a, um, a regular um, American League base, or a baseball, MLB baseball, excuse me. The thing about this is you do still have blackout restrictions. Like I am in the Texas Rangers market, so I have to watch it on my Texas Rangers. But right here, um, instead I could watch it uh, on the Mets and the Washington game. That's a game I typically wouldn't see unless I get MLB at bat. But every day they have a MLB game to include in there. Um, the United Soccer League, PGA Golf, additional in-depth coverage. PGA Golf not included on regular ESPN and more and they even have older content in here some video games uh let's see here on demand so you can go in here and see the best of boxing if i want to catch some classic ali fights i can do that you know uh, and then i could go on um foreman holy field there really is a collection there's even a ton of older um indianapolis 500 content um, indy car racing included with it it's a really a nice feature there Let's keep on moving. And that's $5 a month. 
If you're not a sports fan, it's probably not worth it to you. If you're a hardcore sports fan, I would pay for nothing but sports and maybe a news channel if I could. Um, you know, it may be worth it for you. Next up, we're going to kind of go through quickly the next two because they're extensively the same. Tubi, formerly Tubi TV, is an on-demand um, service here that brings you a huge catalog of movies and TV shows from Paramount and all kinds of different places. You can create an account for free, and that way if you start on this device, you can finish it on your phone, finish it on your computer, take it home, finish it at home. Um, and it's really a decent lineup. So you got stuff like The Zookeeper, um, Empire State, all kinds of other ones. TV shows including Duck Dynasty, The Betweeners, Dog, The Bounty Hunter, Elf, uh, Storage Wars, Pawn Stars, so they really, um, Mr. Um, Bean, they have a new release category and they, um, they do a nice job. I wish more people did this where they will say, hey, this is leaving soon. Watch it now before it gets out of here. Just like Netflix, Hulu, all other places, they're rotating the content every week. 100% free, check it out. Would highly recommend it. I would also recommend Sony Crackle, like I was talking about earlier. Hey, sometimes you wanna watch a show, but you're not willing to pay for it. Sony Crackle offers a ton of Sony content, including a ton of Seinfeld, and they rotate it every month. It's not everything, you have to get Hulu for that, but it does include a good smattering of that. Now again, it's gonna say log in for free, but there's a little skip button down here. If you click on that, you can watch the content without needing to actually subscribe or to create an account for Sony Crackle. It used to be called Crackle, they changed it to Sony Crackle, bad name, Sony Marketing. But in here again, you can go and I can see TV shows, let's see what kind of Sony TV shows. They have a lot of originals, you can see the Sony Crackle one there, but they also have a ton of other content out there. So here's the comedy one and a decent selection, Dilbert, um, which is maybe one of the more underrated ones, Men in Black, the comic show, um, right here, Seinfeld. Let's go down to their action TV shows. Um, and you can see a ton of content in here, including some Marvel content that's been thrown in, which isn't not a bad deal at all. You may not want to pay for it, but hey, I can watch a little commercial and watch it there. So Sony, Crackle, Tubi, Pluto TV, you put those all together. Hoopla, if you have a library card, and you should. You put those all together and you really have a massive catalog of 100% free content there. I know several core cards who have an antenna, maybe one streaming service like Netflix, and then they just rely on uh, free ad supported ones like that. All right, let's keep on going into Twitch as we wrap this on up here real quick. Now, you probably think of Twitch, hey, it's about gaming or people playing the piano in real life. Increasingly, Twitch is doing a lot of cool things. Um, which like exclusives they had every um, Mr. Rogers episode on here. They had all the like hundreds of classic Doctor Who episodes um, streaming for free on here. They've had Bob Ross, the uh, Joy Painting streaming for free. Power Rangers, the entire first season I believe it was, was streaming for free on here for a while. They seem to do a lot of these rotating ones to promote stuff. Also, come NFL season, Thursday Night Football will stream for free, no account needed. Well, actually, I think you may need an account to comment on it, but we'll stream it for free on Twitch. Um, and if you have Amazon Prime, it'll stream on the Amazon Prime app still. But if you don't have Amazon Prime, you'll be able to stream it here on Twitch for free. So Twitch has really kind of become a bigger thing than just about gaming. So, I mean, it is kind of a YouTube competitor a bit with increasing the amount of YouTubers appearing on here, but there's a ton of other content out there. So check it out. And if you're an NFL fan, maybe get it just for that particular reason. All right, let's kind of keep going. And the last one today, and I don't believe I'm logged in, but I wanted to talk about Movies Anywhere. This is one I wish I'd taken, no, nope, I'm not logged in at the moment, but that's okay. Movies Anywhere is, used to be called Disney Movies Anywhere. And now it's got quite a few different apps out there that you can partner with. Vudu, Google Play, Amazon, iTunes. What you do is you create a Movies Anywhere app account. It's 100% free. You sign in your Vudu, iTunes, I believe Google Play also, don't call me on that. Amazon, and then for instance, on my Fire TV, I can watch the movies I purchased on iTunes through here. Not all movie studios participate, but growing number do. It's really great. Of course, all Disney content is, because Disney's the parent company kind of behind it. I love it. And every now and then they'll do things like, oh, hey, we see you have this particular movie. 
we're going to throw in a bonus. Um, when Star Wars, uh, the last one came out, if you put it on, if you bought it through a link service on Movies Anywhere, you got a bonus extra, which I think it was just the movie with the music score underneath it. But they do stuff like that. They just say, hey, here's a free bonus we'll throw in there. And they're increasingly doing it. I love it because now if I'm on my Roku, I can watch everything I bought on my Apple. If I'm on my Apple TV, I got access to the stuff I bought on Google Play and other places. So check out Movies Anywhere, 100% free. A really cool one to check out. Do you have anything I should add to this list? Hopefully this list helped you find something new you didn't know before. That's my real hope here is that I may have helped you find something that you didn't know about before. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe. Every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we are live on YouTube answering your core card and related questions. For about an hour, I just sit here and I answer your questions. You can leave those comments um, or you can find us right here, just subscribe to our channel and get notifications when we go live. Every Saturday, we post a weekly core cutting recap show where we tell you all about the biggest stories in the world of core cutting from the past week. So thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern.